虽然夏威夷与日本远隔万里，但日本政府强推福岛核污染水排海一事，还是在当地引发了不小的关注。在活努鲁鲁的这个渔码头，我们遇到了不少的渔业从业者，对于日本政府的这种做法，他们都表示了不满和反对。Yeah, it's a constant worry. Our oceans are very fragile, and that kind of action is shouldn't be allowed at all. So I'm not very happy about it. I I think it will impact the business here. It's very horrible. This is our food. I hope they don't do that. No, no. Unfortunately, it's a big disaster. So, and I think that the、uh, Japanese government actually、uh, took steps to keep it secret, so it wasn't、uh, transparent public. That's bad. 事实上。夏威夷渔业从业者的担忧和反对不无道理。美国国家科学院学报曾刊登过一篇研究报告称，福岛核灾难发生后，科学家们在2011年8月与美国加利福尼亚州附近捕获的金枪鱼体内发现了少量的铯134和铯137。其中铯134被证实与福岛核电站的辐射有直接联系。在夏威夷，反对日本强推核污染水排海的。不仅仅是渔业从业者，还有不少当地民众。I think it shows how important it is to care about this and that it doesn't only impact one place. Yeah, so when you release the water, the、uh, nuclear water back into the into the ocean, it's going to circulate and go other places. So it's not going to just stay there. You can find these things and you can do tests、uh, across the world, and we can see where those、um, nuclear material go. So it's going to affect everybody. It's not just not just Japan.